Hello. How are you with stepping out of your comfort zone? <laughs> In today's passage, Matthew 14, verse 23 to 33, we're going to meet someone who really stepped out. <laughs> and he really does deserve a lot of respect for this one. And stay tuned. After that, I'm going to share some insights and word of encouragement. If you don't know already, my name's Barry, and I'd like to welcome you to Christianity Explained, where we share biblical principles and ideas. And today's topic it centers on Matthew chapter 14, verses 23 to 33. If that doesn't sound, if that story doesn't sound familiar, it's going to in just a second. After Jesus, starting in verse 23, after Jesus has sent the crowd away, he went up to the mountain by himself to pray, to spend time with the Father, and it was evening. He went there alone. But the boat was already a long distance from the land uh, and it's being battered by the waves for the wind was contrary. Uh, Nothing like a storm in the middle of the sea, in the middle of the sea, like uh, the Sea of Galilee. (laughs) Hmm, but Jesus, it's nothing. (laughs) And in the fourth watch of the night, he come to them walking on the sea. Like I said, for Jesus, nothing. (laughs) When the disciples saw him walking on the sea, uh, they were uh, terrified. Gee, I wonder why. And said, it is the ghost. And they cried out in fear. Yeah, I wonder why. Oh, it is a little unnerving, guys. <laughs> but uh, immediately Jesus spoke to them, saying, Take courage, take heart. It is I. Do not be afraid. Mm. Peter said to him, Lord, if it is you, command me to come. Come to you on the water. Okay. <laughs> yes, Peter asked. <laughs> um, I'll explain in just a minute. <laughs> and Jesus said to him, Come. And Peter got out of the boat and walked on the water and came toward Jesus. But seeing the wind and the waves probably, he became frightened and beginning to sink. He and beginning to sink he cried out, Lord, save me. Keep in mind he was about at least five steps away from the boat from the boat itself. His buddies were not going to be able to get to him. <laughs> Immediately, Jesus stretched out his hand and took hold of him, and he said, "You of little, you of little faith, why did you doubt?" <laughs> I think mean, yeah, Peter was doing pretty good, so his doubt and fear uh, blindsided him. <laughs> When they got into, and here's the the fun part, when they got into the boat, the storm, the wind stopped. Whoa, it wasn't until they got into the boat. (laughs) And those who were in the boat worshipped him, saying, You are certainly 
God's son. I don't know about you, but I think it's kind of a humbling experience to read how someone like Peter got out of the boat and did what is impossible. <laughs> he, you would think most people would not want to do that. <laughs> so I have to give respect to Peter for that. And I do have a secondary reason because I dealt with some people who had about a harsh view. So if you're one of those people, because Peter is of who he is to a lot of Catholics, let me ask you this. Would you have gotten out of that boat? Would you have done what he did? Probably not. <laughs> I, I can say that seriously. Probably not. Because it takes a lot of courage to take a risk like that. Jesus could have actually said, no, stay in the boat. You're not going to do? No. Instead, he told him, yeah, come. He wasn't worried. He <laughs> I'm sure he had to have known uh, that he was going to have to rescue Peter. I'm sure. It doesn't take much to figure that one out. And Peter... Obviously, he did pretty well. He had to have taken at least five steps. And I say five for a very simple reason. He had to be at an arm's length from, uh, his buddy, from his brother, Andrew, and the rest and his buddies there. Because <laughs> yeah, uh, that otherwise he wouldn't have yelled, yelled uh, Lord, save me. But that's what he did. The only problem uh, that came was when, while he's doing this, he starts to look around and realize what he's actually doing. <laughs> and once his eyes got taken was off of Jesus and on what was happening in the natural, it was like, ah, that's when he got into trouble. But guess what? Jesus was right there. And he pulled him, just simply pulled him out. And they both walked back to, into the boat. And the storm stopped uh, after they got in the boat. In fact, on the other uh, parallel scriptures, the storm stopped when Jesus got into the boat. It's incredible. So I would ask you, how are you doing with stepping out of your comfort zone? For me, this is not so easy. Because it takes time and a lot of practice and work. <laughs> For others, okay, it's not easy to step out of your comfort zone and sit in front of a webcam or a camera on your phone. That's what I'm using. I can, because of how I'm wired, but for you? Yeah, that might be the most nerve-wracking thing. But, the, but you know what's wonderful? Is that Jesus is right there. He's able to help you uh, in the midst of your struggle and in the midst of your distress. So you do not have to be afraid. It's also worth noting that Jesus that Peter didn't step out until Jesus said, come. So he listened to what the Lord said first before he went out and did it on his own. <laughs> so, yeah. You got to give him credit there, too. <laughs> and I have to yeah. think about what it is that God is calling me to do. That's not so easy. <laughs> and challenging. But I'm glad for the challenges that's happening and the storms that are going on. <laughs> so I want to encourage you. Stay focused on Christ. Stay focused on what he's ta telling us to do and not to let the storms and the winds uh, that are going on around you distract you. <laughs> and thank you, Lord, for always being there to rescue me. <laughs> 
when I get into trouble. <laughs> and to respect and honor those who do take a risk and not be uh, unkind. That's kind of what I went into in the past. <laughs> and thank you, Lord. All right. Hey, hope you have a blessed day. See you when I see you.